In this video, I will show you how to use the multiple controllers for the Wii U emulator Simu on the Steam Deck. There are a great amount of multiple player games on the Wii U, so it's going to be fine to enjoy them with your friends or family on the Steam Deck. Before we start the setup process, first make sure you already have the working Wii U games on your Steam Deck. Then make sure you have paired all your controllers from the gaming mode. Here I will use one PS4 controller and two generic Bluetooth controllers to set up this process. So just make sure all your controllers are connected under the Bluetooth. Once we have functioning games and paired controllers, then we can put the Steam Deck into the desktop mode. After get into the desktop mode, first double check and make sure your Bluetooth controllers are still connected. Most of the time it will, if you have updated to the Steam OS 3.5. If they are disconnected, so just reconnect them from desktop mode. Then we can open up the VU emulator CMU. Inside the emulator, go to the option menus from top, then select input settings. Under controller 1, there is nothing we need to change here, since this was preset to our Steam Deck building gamepad. So we can just move to controller 2. Under the profile, select Deck. Then under Emulated Controller, select VU Pro Controller. Make sure this is set to the correct VU Pro Controller here. Then click on the plus icon here. Under the API, select SDL Controller. Then under the controller, you should be able to pick up your old Bluetooth controllers from here. It's a little bit tricky here to select your controller. If you look closely, there are two tiny arrows that you can actually click on to switch between different controllers. It's hard to hit on those tiny up and down arrows here, but take your time, you should be able to do it. I will pick the PS4 controller as my first controller here. Then remember to click Add. Now we have set the PS4 controller as our first Bluetooth controller. So if I grab the controller and try to push joystick, we will see the red point in the emulator are moving along with our joystick. This means we have successfully mapped the controller with the emulator. The last thing we need to do here is to click the save button. The first controller is ready to go. Now I will do the exactly same steps for the other two controllers here. And I will put them in 10 times speed. So to test whether the controller is set correctly, we can simply push the joystick and see if the red point is moving along with your joystick. So all my three controllers are now ready to go. Remember to click save every time when you set up a controller. Now we can close the emulator and switch back to the gaming mode. Once we get back to the gaming mode, just head to the Bluetooth and make sure all your controllers are still connected. Then go to a video game and click on the gamepad button here. Then you should see all your controllers from the top area of this page. Then switch to one of your Bluetooth controller. Here I will switch to my PS4 controller. Then click on the gear icon here. Then select Disable Steam Input. This is the key to success for this whole setup. So make sure you disable the Steam Input from here. Once the Steam input is disabled, you were not able to see any settings under each Bluetooth controller. Now everything is ready, it's time for our multiplayer. Here I will use Mario Kart 8 as a demonstration, so let's head to the multiple player. As you can see, now I can use each controller to pick up a character, and we are ready for the party. I only have 3 controllers here, but if you have 4, then you can have 4 people to play this game on the Steam Deck. This is pretty much all for this one, I hope it's helpful. If you like it, don't forget to hit like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching.